Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I had to talk about this because uh, nobody else in boxing has a kind of insight on this story. I don't think anybody in boxing even knows that this is going on, really, except uh, for Jalal Akhmedov out there in Uzbekistan. So this is somewhat of a true school of sports exclusive here. Now, you guys know the fight that I am most excited about that's already scheduled, that's already finalized, that has a date, venue, all that good stuff, is the March 2nd card featuring the two featherweight title fights. Obviously, you got... Uh, Venado Lopez defending his belt against his IBF mandatory Rhea Abbey. And also, you got uh, the one I'm really looking forward to, which is uh, Odebeck Bruce Lee Komatov against Raymond Ford for the WBA title. So, that being said, I'm very disheartened to report the news to you guys that Odebeck Komatov is no longer training with Timur Brokhamov. Timur Brokhamov, as many of you guys may remember from his fighting days, um, solid heavyweight, 1996 Uzbek Olympian. But in 2020, he transitioned towards being a, a trainer, and, he, and, and um, he was part of opening up a gym down here in South Florida, where Odebeck Komatov started training. So everything that Odebeck has accomplished and done in his career up to this point has been under the watchful eye, the watchful guidance, and the watchful tutelage of Timur Abragamov, and, and, and um, there's no refuting that. Now, they're not working together no more, and... You know, when I the way I found out about all this was when I was at the WBA convention, um, I went to check the boxing news on Twitter, and I saw an article that said Odebeck Komatov was pleased with this new team. So I said, "New team? Well, what new team?" So then I read the article and came to find out that uh, he is now being trained by Joel Diaz out there in California because um, you know Odebeck is good friends with Merja Akhmadaliev, and we know that Joel Diaz has a working relationship with Akhmadaliev and a lot of other. Uzbek fighters. So, um, once I found this out, I had to I had to go to the sources. I had to go to Timur Bragamov, who I know personally. I had to go to Odebek Komatov, whom I know personally. So I reached out to Timur first, and to give you guys his side of the story, the reason why Odebek Komatov is no longer training with Timur Bragamov is because, you know, um, basically there was a dispute over money between not him and Timur, but uh, the guy that runs the Jimmy trains at. In the promotional company he was previously signed to, a guy named Stan, there was a Odebeck wanted to know when he was going to be getting, you know, more money. Now, mind you, Odebeck had everything paid for. He was getting a stipend. He was getting all of his expenses paid for, his, his training expenses, his living expenses. He was living in a, in a decent part of South Florida, a nice part of South Florida, actually, because, you know, I, I know they stay in nice areas, the Uzbeks and whatnot. But, like, he was doing... He was doing good. Like, like he, he he never had to worry about nothing. Uh, the gym, Warriors Gym, where he trained at, is a world-class facility. It's one of the nicest facilities I've ever been to anywhere in the world, right? It's a great boxing gym. So everything was taken care of. And uh, Timor just told him, look, all the money that we invested into you, you're going to make it all that, all that tenfold when you fight for the title against Ford. Um, and he was being taken care of. Um, he was they, obviously they, they, they are fast tracking him. They're they're the ones that got him into this position for the fight with Raymond Ford. So, um, you know what it is what it is. There, Timor tells me from what I've gathered from him, he says that um, anytime Odebeck Komatov wasn't in, wasn't in camp or at the gym, and he would go to Uzbekistan. One of the Uzbekistan national coaches would get in his ear and, 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 and ask him questions and whatnot and, and kind of manipulated him to go over there with the Joel Diaz camp. And um, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. Now, in the article that I read, because I did have a chance to read it, um, and I'll leave you guys for you guys in the description so you guys can read it for yourself. Um, what Oda Beck said in the interview was that he had questions about the fight and they kept leaving it unanswered. Um, and then they said that he was thrown out on the street in a foreign country with no money and no acquaintances, right? Which I don't know anything about that. That could be true. That could be not be true. I don't, I don't know. But then he says later he was added to Joel Diaz's team. Now, Timor has told me himself, Timor Bogmov, his coach told me that, uh, his other fighter. So he, he oh, Timor has another fighter named Otar Aronosian, the number, the number, uh, one ranked contender in the WBA rankings. Um, Otar had a fight in Plant City against Roger Gutierrez in early August. And the way he explained what happened with Odebeck with me is that Odebeck wound up 
leaving the gym. Just no, no rhyme, no reason. He just up and left the gym, left to California, left to go be with Joel Diaz and never came back. No, no explanation, no nothing. And this was back in August uh, while Otar was fight, getting ready to fight Roger Gutierrez. So, um... It's really, really sad. I mean, what I don't really know what the truth is. I mean, I'm just telling you guys what I, I report, I've heard, and I'm reporting it to you guys. Um, as far as Oda Beck, he, uh, when I messaged him about it, he said that uh, now that everything's happened, he, he has a lot to say. I've waited a couple days for an answer from him. I asked him what happened from his point of view. He hasn't given me anything. So, um, you know, if, if he does say anything, I'll, I'll, I'll report more on it. But... Uh, it's a really uh, sad state of affairs, and, and, and to get into how this could affect him going into the forward fight, listen, man, although I am picking Odebeck Kormotov to win, and I'm still sticking with my pick, um, I, I, I would think that this would actually bump up Raymond Schwartz's chances to win this fight, because I'm not a fan, and I'm not a strong proponent of changing your trainer going into the biggest fight of, of your career. Your, your, the biggest fight of your career, your, your career can't be the first fight you, do, you work with a trainer. Are there exceptions to the rules? Yes. Like sometimes you get guys like Tyson Fury who can go into a Deontay Wilder rematch Sugar Hill and do his thing. But that's few and far between. I'm not a fan of I'm not, I'm just not a fan of that. I feel like if you if you're undefeated and 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 it's and you know so far in your career you've had great results and you've been improving and you've been getting better, then I feel like, you know, you do what got you to the dance. You, you, you do what got you to that point. And I just think Odebeck Komatov uh, he, he, he may have made a big mistake. We'll, we'll, we'll see on fight out how it plays out for him. But in my, in my eyes, this bumps up this, this, this bumps up Raymond Ford's chances about 3 to 4% for me. Because Timur Abrakamov, um had a great rapport with Odebeck. They had built a great chemistry. And I know Timor in interviews and conversations I had, he looked at Odebeck Komotov like, like, like a little brother to him. Um, Odebeck also told Timor, according, according to Timor, that... You know, before he left, before he surprisingly left to California and, le and left him as his coach, he said that pretty much, you know, look, we start we started together, we're gonna finish together. But when it, when push came to shove, that's not what he's doing. He's he's, he's out there with Joel Diaz. So um, I don't like it. I don't like it. And 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 although I am still a big fan of Odebeck Komatov, the fighter, I've lost some respect for Odebeck Komatov just in general because. Um, I don't like that. I think I think it's a corny move on his part. Now, again, there's two sides to every story. I'm still waiting. Listen, Oda Beck, if somebody from Uzbek hears what I'm saying, Oda Beck, I'm trying to get your side of the story. So someone in Uzbek translate this to him and tell him to message me on Instagram because I waited like a couple days for his response. I never got it. So um, it's a big fight for him. Obviously, if Komatov wins this fight, he's the WBA champion and he fulfills what I've always thought about him, which is the fact that I think he's going to be a champion um, and it will position him for big fights with, with the likes of Nayoa Inoue, which is a fight I, I, I really want to see in the featherweight division, but um, not really a good look. Not a good look one bit, and um, Odebeck Komatov looks like he's listening to some of the wrong people in boxing, and um, you know, we'll see what we'll, we'll see what it is. Listen, I, I'll say it like this. Anybody who speaks English, if you're part of Team Komatov and you come across this video, I don't hide from nobody. Um, I'm not scared of nobody. I showed that at the WBA convention when I, when I, when I spoke to the most powerful people in boxing with not an ounce of fear or reserve in my heart. So if you want to get in contact with me, you leave a comment down below or get on touch with me on Instagram or Twitter. Just, I'm not hard to find. And um, I would like to hear his side of the story um, because I think it's it's very disheartening news to hear because I think Timur Bagamon is a fantastic trainer. I think him and Ode, I think I thought Odebeck was going to be his first world champion, but if Odebeck's not his first world champion, then Otar Aronosian has a great chance. Obviously, he's got to be a really good fighter in Lamont Roach, but I think he's got a good chance to be a world champion as well. So we'll see how it goes. But if you're Raymond Ford right now, I feel like this, 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 this is going to help Raymond Ford because I don't care how good of a trainer Joel Diaz is, and I don't care how many Uzbeks he's worked with, he's worked with in the past. Um, he doesn't have that chemistry with Odebeck, and um, that takes time. It takes time to really know your trainer and, and, and build a rapport with him, and, and it's, it's, it's just not good to do. When you go into a big fight against a tough, you know, uh, uh, you know, world, you know, top fighter like Raymond Ford in a world title fight, so uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep our eyes on this space. If anything else comes out about Odebeck and Timor and their whole situation, I'll definitely be reporting it here on True School Sports. But just, just really, really shitty news to be honest with you guys. So um, yeah, leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts on the whole situation. Um, make make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take your guys.
Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.